Here's a look at the state of COVID-19 in Arkansas tonight. 383 new cases were reported today. That's the lowest jump we've seen in more than a month. We also saw a very small drop in hospitalizations. 507 people are fighting the virus from a hospital bed, but unfortunately, 11 more Arkansans have died, bringing the state's total to 566. And we'll be able to provide school district level data for uh, the cumulative number of cases, the active number of cases, and positivity rate. In today's COVID-19 press briefing, we learned about new data tracking positivity rates that will soon be available to parents as their children return to school. But the announcement has already raised several questions about what exactly this means and what those numbers will look like. Tonight, as we approach the first day of school in Arkansas, many parents still have so many questions about what this upcoming school year will look like, especially when it comes to whether their kids will be at risk for contracting the virus. So the number of tests uh, and the accuracy of that data to have an accurate positivity rate uh, is going to be important as well. Tuesday afternoon, Education Secretary Johnny Key announced a partnership with the Arkansas Center for Health Improvement that will provide school district level COVID-19 data. I think the information that's gonna be most important and salient for parents are number one, is testing happening in the area that my school district represents? Mm -hmm. Number two, how many of those are positive and how many active cases are there? Dr. Joe Thompson is the president and CEO of ACI. In a FaceTime interview, he breaks down how the state has been reporting county level data for weeks now and explains the center will be zeroing in on those numbers to put out school district level data. The data flows to the health department from the testing labs, both within the state and across the country. We then get a transfer of the COVID-19 positive individuals and we geocode which school districts they reside in and then we divide it by the population in that school district. Thompson anticipates updating these numbers on a weekly basis to try to minimize the effects of testing lags and get the information out to parents as quickly as possible. When we put this first piece of data out, it'll be a single you know, report of the number of active cases. But as we do so each week, it will allow a trend line to be drawn and parents and school officials will know whether their school district is going in the right direction, fewer cases, or in the riskier direction with more cases. The Department of Education is looking at rolling this new data out later this week, and we'll be sure to give you context for that information as soon as it comes out. Craig. All right, Marlisa, thank you. A national shortage of aluminum cans is causing some local breweries to pause production on some of their most popular beers. TSV 11's Melissa Zigowitz shows us what this means for you the next time you head to the store to pick up a case of your favorite brew. First, it was toilet paper, then hand sanitizer. Now, it's aluminum cans. We have plenty of draft, but we, we just don't have the cans to put it in. Russ Melton is the president of Diamond Bear Brewing Company. The can shortage is causing him to pause production on his most popular products. We were supposed to get our cans early July, and we had to move our production to uh, actually September the 3rd now. This means it may be harder to find your go-to beers in the future. And I, I've just sent it out to all of our distributors and try to communicate to our customers that uh, our strawberry lager will not be available. We're doing our best to get you the beer as soon as we can. Jess McMullen is the owner of Flyway Brewing, where he's also having the same problem. We've had um, probably 30 to 60 day delays. He believes this shortage is a supply and demand issue. But even when you're in the grocery store and you're on the soda aisle, you know, you can see that it's just Coke, Sprite, and Dr. Pepper. So it's affecting, you know, everyone right now. With the pandemic causing people to not dine in as much, People are buying packs of beer instead. There's been a, a lot of record sales months for some breweries that have cans out in the market. So their cans are way up, although the tap rooms are down. For the most part, McMullen should have enough supply until his manufacturer can catch up. But he did slow down production on his most popular beers like Blue Wing. We're not out of it yet, but we were, we used to have a pretty good inventory that we'd keep all the time. And now it just, it's just running real close. In Little Rock, Melissa Zigowitz, THV 11 News.